Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to do a battery replacement on the HP laptop. But before I do that, I'd like to explain some of the possibility that you might have experienced in this video. So if you happen to have the same symptoms, then more likely you need a battery replacement. Now, obviously, if the battery is not taking the charge, or maybe it takes the charge at 100% and it get drained out less than one hour, right? So it just died within half an hour, 15 minutes, sometimes maybe 10 minutes, then more likely you need to change out your battery. Now, there are other ways that you, you might see some of the symptoms. So one of them is the common thing to have would be your touchpad. If your touchpad is not clickable, right now it is clickable, and you can hear the click, and you can feel the click, that means it's good, but for my case, my laptop is a good battery, but I'm just explaining that what are the symptoms if you have a bad battery. Now, uh, one of them would be the touchpad. If the touchpad is not clickable, that would be one of the symptoms. Um, if you see the touchpad is slightly lifted up, meaning that the internal battery is swollen, so it's pushing and pushing, it's getting fatter and fatter. So it's pushing the palm rest or pushing the touchpad from the inside out. So if that is the case, you can feel like a little lump here on the uh, palm rest or maybe a little lump here uh, bulging on your uh, touchpad. So if that is the case and if that is the case and it's not holding the charge and the battery die out very quickly, then more likely you need a battery replacement. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it on how to change out the battery. So let me identify the model here for you. If you flip it around, this is HP 17 CN0023DX. So this is the 17 inch laptop. The first thing you need to do is to remove the rubber cover. This rubber here on the top and at the bottom. Uh, they are hidden screw, screws um, underneath that rubber. So go ahead and remove the rubber by simply just get underneath and pry it up. Once you have done that process, get yourself a Phillips screwdriver and I'll be using the electric one. Okay, so once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to pry open the back cover. Uh, what I like to do is maybe go in between the palm rest and the back cover here. So let's start from the corner, the side. Take your time when you pry it open. Try not to dig it too deep because you do not want to uh, mess Mess the, messed up with the internal part of the computer. So be very gently when you get it open at one corner and I'm just gonna wiggle around, get the plastic prying tool and slowly pry it open all around the corner. All right, once you have pried open the back cover, take a look at the battery. If the battery is swollen, if you see any lump on the battery, then there you have it, you found a problem and you need to change out the battery. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and remove the battery. Phillips screwdriver again. Okay, once you have removed four screws, you can simply lift it straight up, the battery. Now, if you're not sure where to find a replacement battery, 
uh, go ahead and look it up here HW03XL or maybe the re replacement part from HP would be L97300-005 and uh, I'm not sure if I can find a replacement at this point because this is quite a brand new laptop um, but I'll try to link them in the description below go check it out in the description below where it would direct you to either eBay or maybe Amazon to find a battery replacement all right again this is just to um, show it to you that the uh, battery and how to change out the battery now if um, if you have a battery that is flat like this right that's not lumpy at all it's flat um, my one is a good battery because um, this is a brand new laptop so um, wanted to show you how to replace the battery I'm just foreseeing a lot of people um, have bad battery over time especially uh, laptops because you uh, recharge it every time you use it so in out in out the battery recharging uh, rechargeable battery would just uh, go bad at some point now one of the thing that you want to preserve the battery for a longer lifetime is never ever plug in the charging your your, your charging um, your adapter power you never plug it in overnight or maybe 24 7 okay I know that some of you guys uh, stationary the laptop at home and you have the charger plugged in and you never take it off at all you leave it plugged in since you open it up you open up from the box since day one right so uh, never do that always unplug it when you're done using meaning that you can plug it in during the day you use it you know you go out for lunch you come back you use it at night time when you're done with it unplug the charger okay the, the the more often you unplug it once you you're done using it the more longer life the battery is going to last all right so that is a tip because you watch all the way here at the end i just want to share that tip with you i uh, hope that this this is a helpful video and if you find it's helpful please give me a like smash the like button for me and if you haven't subscribed feel free to subscribe to the channel if you have any question comment below i do read your comments and i'll try to answer you as soon as possible thanks for watching again um, good luck with the repair bye now